Hi, Amy from The Beat here. Welcome to our first episode of The Beat Cooks On, our winter cooking series with my partner and chef, Felino Sampson. He's gonna show you throughout the course of the winter um, how to prepare some of our beet favorites as well as some new additions to the menu. We really hope you enjoy it. Hi. I'm the chef of the Beat Restaurant here on 9 South Water Street. Today we're cooking Sichuan broccoli with tofu. Sichuan is a province in China. It's uh, an inland province. It uh, is well known for its spicy food. And today we're creating something with broccoli and tofu. Okay, so the main ingredients, broccoli, tofu, mushrooms, um, woodier mushroom, it, which is really a fungus, it grows, it grows anywhere. It's on a tree. Uh, I've seen them walking here on that cupcake. Um, this is a chili oil that I make here with um, Chinese chilies and Sichuan peppercorn. Um, this is our main flavoring agent on this dish. Uh, Sichuan peppercorn is actually not even a peppercorn, it's actually more of a thistle. Uh, there's two varieties, there's a red uh, peppercorn and a green one, uh, both very different. Um, while, while we're talking about this peppercorn, the Chinese, this, this dish has a lot to do with um, two, two uh, flavors of spice. They call it ma and la. Uh, ma meaning the, the heat from the spice, and la, maybe I have it in reverse, la is the tingling sensation that you get from this peppercorn. Okay, the other ingredients are orange zest, it's an oil, it's just kept in oil to suspend it. Uh, some um, shallots that's fried with a little bit of cornstarch, some sliced garlic. So let's let's start. First, I'm gonna put a little oil in the pan. Let that heat. Uh, this province has a lot of garlic and spice, so it's big, bold flavors. So we're gonna start it by toasting the garlic. We're gonna take it close to browning, but you don't want to burn the garlic, so you gotta be careful. Okay. So we're just gonna take a minute. To let that cook a little bit. It's gonna start to brown on the edges. A lot of the perfume is gonna come out. Okay. And it will just keep cooking at this point. We're gonna flavor the tofu. The tofu is gonna pick up some of that garlic. The tofu has actually been fried ahead of time. This is uh, extra firm tofu that I just fried just to get um, a little bit firmer. Um, the Chinese love to vary texture, um, especially soft tofu, this like gelatinous mushroom thing. So it kind of has a lot of things going on. It's, it's crunchy, it's soft, it's spicy, it's sweet at the same time. And that's part of the things that we're gonna talk about in the series at the beat that we're going to be showing you how to balance flavors, okay? Um, next thing is the mush. Actually, let's flavor the tofu. Take some of the orange. We're gonna sweeten up the tofu a little. It'll give it a little bit of perfume, okay? And now we'll add the spice, the next component, okay? And a good tablespoon. So this is actually, like I said, the ma and la. It has chili flakes that has the heat, but it also has the Szechuan peppercorn, which gives it that tingly feeling that you get from Szechuan cooking. Okay, now we're gonna add the mushrooms. And 
and we're just gonna basically do a light stir fry and eat. Most of the ingredients here are sauteed mushrooms and tofu that's already cooked. So we're we're basically just melting the flavors and heating the ingredients too. Okay. We're gonna now add the broccoli. And like I said, we're gonna just let this kind of combine the flavors a little bit. Okay? It's gonna take a second, we're just gonna let that heat. Okay, to finish the dish. Um, here at the restaurants, we try to keep things simple, but it's kind of our jobs. Restaurants tend to add extra steps or extra care of your food, so you can actually step, skip some of these things, you know, instead of, you can probably skip the woodier mushrooms. You can just do broccoli and mushrooms and some tofu with some delicious chili oil. I really enjoy the orange zest, so I wouldn't skip that. Um, Szechuan peppercorns, it's kind of a specialty item that you can find pretty much online these days. And the sauce that I make, uh, we call it an unagi sauce. Uh, unagi is just the Japanese name for it, uh, eel. But it's really, um, what you can do at home is use sweet soy sauce. We have, I know we have that here on the island. Um, it's in one of the specialty stores, that, like one of the fish stores here on Nantucket. So this is, has too many ingredients that you guys don't need to worry about. Come here and enjoy it <laughs> if you really want that flavor. So we're going to put a lib liberal amount of this soy, this unagi sauce. Okay. I'm going to let that fold in. And then to gild the lily, a little bit of sesame oil mixed with even more chilies. Um, this is kind of a medium heat just to round it out, just that perfume of sesame oil. Okay. And we're pretty much there. We're just heating all the ingredients through. We're letting some of the sauce bubble up, uh, reduce a little bit, Although it's pretty concentrated, you don't, if you cook it too long, it's gonna get a little too salty, so you just, something to be careful for. Um, here at the restaurant, we always make sure that we taste, and you know, so it's just perfect. Okay, that's, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna turn that off, give this a little clean. For Plato. Uh, here uh, at the beat, we serve it with steamed brown rice, um, which is perfect. Uh, white rice is also perfectly acceptable. Uh, we'll put this in this beautiful white bowl. finish it here like I said it's all about the textures we're gonna hit it with a little bit of this is just optional just to add a little bit more crunch and then something a little herb herbaceousness uh, we'll do a little parsley or uh, cilantro here nice and pretty okay and that's it, that's the dish. Uh, one of our favorite dishes here on Nantuck at the beat. Um, let's give it a try, shall we? Okay. Do 
you get the orange, you get the perfume of the sesame, and it's not too spicy, but that tingling sensation from the Sichuan peppercorn, it's just delicious. Um, what can I say? Polino Sanson from the beet, Sichuan uh, broccoli with tofu. Until next time. Oh, uh, yeah, and then. Oh my gosh, this is so delicious. The Szechuan broccoli tofu bowl at the beat is awesome. Check out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Check out our website at thebeatnantucket.com for recipes. Sauces will be available for purchase in store, as well as be sure to follow us on social media where you can watch us on Instagram, our new YouTube channel, as well as Facebook all at the Beat Nantucket.